Hello, welcome to Sweethearts or Rivals. I'm Sharla. I'm Justin. And what are we playing today? Today we're going to be taking a look at Guild Hall. Guild Hall. Yeah. We're going to do a playthrough for yep. you today. Excellent. So we have it set up. Uh, these here are our, 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 there we go. They are. The they are. The, there we go. Goal cards. Yeah, goal cards. So um, what you need to get them is you need to get this many uh, full, complete chapters, and we'll go into that, what that is in a minute. And when you have a chapter, or for some of the bigger ones too, you can use an action to buy that many victory points. And then sometimes it's not just victory points, sometimes you're going to get bonus actions that come along with it, which is right. kind of nice. So that's what we're shooting for, and we need to get 20 victory points to win. Uh, whoever has that 20 on the end of their turn says, the game's over, I won. I'm the winner. Yep. Uh, Guild Hall is a very unique card game. Um, you have a deck of cards, and actually we're just going to kind of start off so we can see what they are. So first of all, we get nine each. That should be nine. It is. All right, and then we get to look at her hand. And try not to look at the other person's hand. True. <laughs> uh, and then we can discard as many as we want, draw back up to nine, and then we're going to start by putting three uh, characters or cards into our beginning guild hall. And basically with guild hall, there are six different kinds of characters. Um, we're playing with the original game, uh, with just the original setup. So we have assassins, farmers, historians, traders, dancers, and weavers. And each of them gives you a different ability. Um, there's five different colors of them. So you can play a card down during your turn. You get two actions. You can you can play a card down and then do what it says. Um, you can discard as many as you want and then draw back up to six. Or you can take a completed chapter from your guild hall and get yourself some victory points. The trick is, is that you can never have the same kind of character of the same color in your guild hall. You're trying to complete a chapter of the same character in all five different colors. And that's how you can get uh, some of the points. And the more of the character that you have in your guild hall, the more powerful the effect when you play another one of those characters. And that's pretty much guild hall right there in a nutshell. Yeah. Um, there are two versions of guild hall. There's the original and there's job fair. Both of them come with six roles. Both of them can be played completely on their own. Once you get both, you can start experimenting and mixing and matching the six different uh, character types mm -hmm. for unique games. So we're just playing with the six originals. All right. All right, so we got our hands. We're just going to roll to see who goes first, and we're just going to dive right into the game. You roll first. Okay, sure. A four. A one. Okay, so I get to look at these. First. Yep. Discard some and then draw back up. Yep. Start off with nine. I think I'm going to have to discard... I'm going to turn myself this way. I am too. Yeah. And that way we can be more opposed. Dun, dun, dun. dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Secret. So yep. I just, or I got rid of two. Okay. And I get two. All right. And now you get to put three of them as your starting guild hall. While I go through mine and decide which ones I'm going to keep and get rid of. Well, I'm going to get rid of that one. Do you want me to just lay down my guild hall? Yeah. So I'm going to get rid of two. Take two more. Okay, so I'm going to put a dancer in my guild hall. And what dancers do, if I play a dancer here in my play area, mm -hmm. then I get to draw as many cards into my hand from the draw pot as I have dancers in my guild hall. Nice. Plus I get an extra action. Excellent. So the next one I'm going to place in my guild hall is a farmer. So now that what this card indicates is when I play a farmer in my play area, if I have one farmer in my guild hall, I'll get a point. Yep. If I'm lucky enough to have three farmers in my guild hall, I'll get two points. Excellent. So the next one, I'm a little unsure of what I'm going to play. I'll keep that. Um, hmm. Seems like an odd move, but I'm going to put an assassin in there. Nice. 
So what an assassin does is he will kill another, well, he'll put another player's character from their guild hall in the discard pile. Yeah, he kills them. <laughs> He's an assassin. They're dead. They go in the discard <laughs> pile. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if I have two assassins in my guild hall, I can do two cards from two different chapters. chapters. Yep. Or if I have four, I could do two from any. Yeah. Into the discard. So that's your beginning guild hall? Right. My beginning guild hall is also going to contain a farmer, a yellow farmer, uh, a red trader. And what the traders do is they allow you to swap cards from your guild hall to your opponent's guild hall and back and forth. Uh, and I'm going to also start off with a green historian. Historians allow you to go and find cards in the discard pile and bring them back. Right. Not back to life. It's not necromancy or anything, but, you know, <laughs> going into history and bringing back something else. So there's six to start with. So is there only one that we didn't discuss yet? Um, probably one, the two, weaver. Three, four, five. Yeah, yep. just the weaver. Yep. So the weaver allows you to take cards from your hand and put them directly into your guild hall. And then you got to usually take some back. Right. Into your hand. So, um, very interesting. A lot of them, most of them are pretty straightforward. You, the trader and the weaver get a little tricky because you got to trade cards off, either from your hand and into your uh, guild hall or between guild halls. So that can okay. be a little tricksy. And your first player, so. First play yep. is, I'm going to play a dancer. Okay. Now, because I can't have any, I don't know if we said this already, I can't remember, but we can't have duplicate color in each in each chapter. Chapter. Yeah. So I can play a yellow dancer. Mm -hmm. I have one dancer in my guild, so I get one card from the draw. Yep. And I'll have an extra action. Yep. So that was awesome card because it's a historian. Nice. So I have zero historians in my guild, so I can take the one off the top of the draw pile and put, put it, it directly in into your guild my hall. guild hall. Nice. Nice. Farmer. You get one more action. It's going to have to be a weaver. Okay. So I have no weavers in my guild hall. I can take one card and put them directly in my guild hall. Nice. It's going to be a weaver. Cool. So then I just put them over here now that I've played them. Yep. They're, They're part of my guild. Excellent. So part of your turn you can do, you can either discard as many cards as you want, right. which could even be zero, uh, and then draw up to six. That's an action. You can play a card, which is what Charlotte just did. Um, if you have any completed chapters, which is one type of character in all the five different colors. They become completed, you grab them, you flip them over, and as an action, you can use them to pay for the victory point um, cards. Right. And you get two actions per turn. Yes, exactly. In case so, we didn't say that already. For my actions, what am I going to do? I am going to play a blue farmer, which allows me to take a victory point token because I already got a farmer in my guild hall. So I get the first point. <laughs> First point of the game. I hope that's not foreshadowing. I don't know. I'm going to play a dancer. I don't have any dancers, so I don't get any cards, but I do get another action. And that is going to be a weaver. And I don't have any weavers, but it does allow me to take one card from a hand and put it directly into my guild hall. That's going to be a purple trader. There's my two actions. Three because of the dancer, and then I shift them all over. So weaver, dancer, farmer, done. So, the cards I can play are a trader. Okay. So I can trade one from my guild hall and one with your guild hall. So it's tricky hmm. because I can't give you something I don't that you can't use. I don't think it's that tricky. I think I know exactly what you're going to go after. Well, I'm going to take one of your farmers. Yeah, it's going to have to be the blue one. And I'm going to have to give you this assassin. Okay. So, assassin. There we go. Farmer. And then I can't play this card, so I'm going to have to either discard or just play this one. So let's mm. see if it's a good idea for me to play this one. What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what it is, so. I think I'm going to play it. So, Another trade. Yeah. Hmm. I'm going to give you this weaver. Red weaver? Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take... Uh, let's see here. I'm going to take your purple trader. That's what I figured. 
Right on. There you go. Done. Okay. My go? Yep. Okay. So, what am I going to do? I am going to discard zero to pick up six cards. One. Up to six. Two. Well, yeah, up to a hand size of six. Right. Five and six. Alrighty, and then I'm going to play a blue assassin, which lets oh. me kill one of your characters. Oh no, which one? Um, let's take and bump off your yellow dancer. But she's so pretty. What's she ever do to that assassin? I know he's kind of a jerk. He yes. is an assassin. And that's my grant. That's my go. Right, because you. Right. Yep. So I can't play this one. So I have to discard it and then get the six. Two, three, four, five, six. Now can I play any of these cards? Well, I could. I can't. Oh, maybe I can do this one. Yep. I'll play a red weaver. Mm -hmm. Which allows me to put someone directly into my guild hall, which is him. Nice. That's my turn. Cool. All right, so. I am going to play a green assassin, and because I've already got two assassins in my guild hall, I can now bump off two characters, but they have to be from different chapters. So let's take care of um, your what blue now? farmer. Yeah, yeah. I like that. That was good. Okay. And let's take care of. It has to be from a different one. Right. Hmm. That's tricky. Farmers are off limits now, dude. Purple Historian. He was nice. He didn't even hardly have a chance <laughs> to do a job for me. Nope. But that's okay. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a Historian, which allows me to take the top card from the discard pile and put it directly into my game. What a ball. sneaky, sneaky move. It would have been more sneaky if I had done it the opposite, so I could have put the Farmer in instead. But, you know. Where's your Farmer? Oh. Yeah. But I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, kill the Farmer right away. <laughs> Should have done that it the other way around. laugh all the way to the historian <laughs> town. Okay. And that's, that's my go. I get to go? Yep. So I can't play that. Well, this works out well for me. Uh-oh. I have a green historian. And nice. I only have one historian. So I actually get my blue farmer back. Nice. Now... I'm going to have to discard and draw because I can't play any of those ones. So I have one card in my hand, so I get five. And that's my turn. Right on. All right. Let's see. What do we got? Can't do that. Hmm. Don't want to do that. Do kind of want to do that, but can I do that? Ooh, bummer. Man, we got a lot of the same colors. Good. No, it's not. It's rocks. It's horrible. Rock socks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a, a red assassin. Who are you killing this time? I don't know, but I get killed two of them again. How come I can't get any assassins? Because they're all in my guild hall. Yeah. Awesome. Which one? Um, let's take care of, first of all, let's take care of your red trader. He was going to yeah. trade something marvelous for me that at the works. market. Um, and let's take care of your red dancer. Poor her. I know. It's horrible. I guess you're not playing a historian. <laughs> um, what well, I'm now going you have to do... three, so you could look. Oh, yeah. anyway, whatever. Now I'm going to play a green trader, and I'm going to give you a red dancer for a green farmer. E I E I O. And that is my go. Good. You did enough damage that round. Yeah, that worked out quite well. <laughs> okay. Mm, that's funny. I am going to use my yellow trader. Yep. Uh-oh. To take my green farmer back. Oh, there we go. That that didn't last very long. Don't be a turkey. Thanks. There you go. <laughs> and then I can play a purple dancer. And she can't give me any cards. But you get another action. That works. And it's going to have to be... Can't play that. 
for that. It's gonna have to be the weaver. The weaver. And she's gonna have to put this dancer in my guild hall. Okay, and then you gotta take one back into your hand. Because you've got two weavers already in the guild hall. Oh, okay. I'll take a historian. Okay. And actually, you could put two from your hand into your guild hall if possible. It's not possible. Okay, so that's fine. Because they'd be doubles. Yeah, okay. All right, so it's my go. Mm -hmm. um, I can indeed, so I'm going to play a traitor. Okay. I've got, I've got two traitors in my guild hall already, so I get to swap two cards. So I'm going to give you a red dancer. Okay. And I'm going to give you a... Oh, I can't do that, actually. I thought I could, but I cannot. Um, I'm going to give you a blue historian. Thank you. And I'm going to take your purple and your blue traitor. Really? Yep. Justin. Those are yours? Thanks. Um, and then I've got no cards, so I'm going to discard zero to get six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then my traitor goes in here, which completes my traitor chapter. Flip them upside down. And now he's untouchable. That worked out quite well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, it must be my turn. It is indeed your turn. Well, I have two historians, so I'm going to play a green historian, see if there's anything in this draw deck here that I want. Mm, yeah, that's a good one. Nope. Maybe. Nope. 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 Maybe. Maybe. Well, let's see. One of these, which would be the best. I'm thinking this one. So my other two cards are unplayable for me, so I'm going to have to discard them and get my six for my second turn. Okay. All right, so what am I going to do now? I am going to... I'm going to use a purple trader. Again? Yeah, I'm going to swap one for one. I'm going to give you a red assassin. You can have that. Mm -hmm. And then the trader that I'm going to take will be, or the character, the card I'm going to take. The trader? No, I don't oh. want the trader. <laughs> so the trader you're going I know, to take? The, the character, that's what I meant. Oh, okay, because you can have my trader. <laughs> no, I'm going to take your blue historian. Taking Mitch away from me? I'm taking Mitch. Mitch is now belonging to me. You get the red assassin. Thanks. Uh, and then I'm going to play a red assassin, which allows me to kill two characters. So I'll kill your red assassin. <laughs> Just because. Yeah, of course you will. Yeah. And, and um, let's see. I'll kill your blue weaver. And that's my go. It's really, really, assassin. really rude. It's so rude, and yet worked so well. <laughs> and out of all those characters you got rid of, these yep. are all still doubles, so I have to trade them in. Ouch. So I have one card, so this is my first go. One, two, three, four, five. For my second go, I hope I can actually do something. Nice. Not so exciting. Not so exciting. I'm going to have to play the assassin. Ouch. Yes. Wow. He's going to just... He's killing. He's got to kill one character. He's going to kill your assassin because you have four of them. Which one? The blue one because he doesn't like someone wearing his outfit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> gotcha. You wore the same <laughs> thing as me. You're dead. Okie doke. So, my go? The stupid move, because now you can probably steal that assassin and just put whatever. Hmm. This one holds a grudge. I guess so, yeah. That's all right. All right, so, what am I doing? Uh, I'm going to use a traitor, and I'm going to give you a purple assassin. Oh, that's nice. For your red historian. Okay. Then I'm going to use a purple assassin. and Kill the purple kill, assassin? Um... Yeah, I'll kill your purple assassin. <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to kill... It's got to be from a different group. Um, how about your green farmer? Man, oh man. 
Your go. I play a red farmer, so I'm going to get a point. Nice. Thank goodness I killed that other farmer off. Why? Because you would have had three in there. You would have gotten two points. Whatever. So then I'm going to play this red historian. Nice. Yeah. You should have almost done that the other way around. Because then you would have got two points. Right, but I yeah. forgot I had a historian in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so that, it is what it is. Yep. I'll know better for my next time I play Guildhall. Gotcha. Yeah. All right, so my go? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to discard one, which means I'm going to get five cards. One, two, three, four, five. Got my full hand. What can I do now? That's interesting. That's not helpful. That's interesting. That's awesome. And that is good. Alright, so I'm going to play a yellow historian. I've got four historians, which means I can look through the discards for two cards of my choice, put them immediately into my um, guild hall. So, first of all, I'm going to get my blue assassin back. Of That's course. one. Well, he's undead now, so. Yeah, the undead assassin. <laughs> Now, is there an assassin in there that I need? What am I missing? I'm missing yellow. Have there been a yellow assassin? I don't think there has no, been. No, I don't think so. Nope, can't There's get a yellow assassin. Not that much assassin. yellow in there. Nope. So, just got to take a look. I got certain colors. So, right. And I'll take a, purple, a green farmer. Okay. So, those are my two actions, I mm -hmm. believe. Yep. yep. Historian goes, and I've got another completed chapter. Goodness gracious. I know. Now, you can only have three completed chapters in your guild hall at a time. If you get more than that, you gotta, you got to just get rid of one. You, okay. you can't even use it to get one of those. You just lose one. But now I've got two, which is kind of what I wanted. I think what I have to do first is discard one card, and I can get four cards. There you go. That's good. And then, that was one go. That's not helpful. Ooh, that's helpful. So I can draw three cards and have nice. another go. That's awesome. Yep. With your big mitt full of cards. Yep, one, two, three. Can never have too many cards. Nicey, nicey, nicey. <laughs> oh, she can't go over there yet. Because you drew. So I have one more action, you right? played, but she gives you another action. Oh, wow. So now you get another three cards. And another action. Yeah, that makes me happy. Nice. And you completed a guild. Or you'll have a completed guild in a minute. Oi. So... Now, I I took my two points because I had enough farmers to do that. Yep. That completes a guild. Yep. And, that and completes this a completes a guild. Here I thought I was like kind of getting a lead on you, but nope. It can turn <laughs> around that fast. Yep, pretty quickly. Yep. All right, so now so it's your go. turn. Yep. My go? Mm -hmm. All right, so the first thing I've got to do is I've got to tr trade in these two completed guilds. <laughs> Before I do it. For a seven point marker. That's. Which is going to give me two extra actions. Frustrating. Ah. I didn't get all those awesome cards before that. Four, five, six, seven. Now that's going to refill at the end of my turn, which is kind of cool. So there's my first action. Now I've got three more actions. <laughs> Uh, my next one is I'm going to be playing a Blue Weaver, which lets me take one card from my hand, put it immediately into my guild hall, and that's going to be a Blue Farmer. You have two Weavers there, so you can take two. Oh, right. i got to put two down and, and take one back one into my hand. One from your house back in your... Ooh. Yeah. I mean your so, guild hall. I'll... Is that off camera? Yeah, yeah kind okay. of. So the second card is going to be my Historian, and now i got to pull a card back into my hand. So I might as well make that the Blue Assassin. <laughs> All right, so that was 
One action. Second action. Still got two more. Yeah, do it. Nice. All right. So <laughs> next one's going to be a yellow farmer. I've got three. It's going to give me two, two more points. points. What, are you going to win in this one round? No. Okay. And then I'm going to play my blue assassin, which lets me are. kill two guys off. So blue assassin's dead because he doesn't like the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> so can it be, be a running th thing here? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. And then let's see. Maybe your, um, hmm. yeah, your yellow weaver. <sighs> Stacy. Gone. Oh. She was a good weaver too. She was making a beautiful yellow dress. Was she? For yes. Rococo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, now she's gonna go apprentice at Rococo. She's not go. putting up with this anymore. <laughs> So I shuffle all these back in, or not back, but into my Look at guild that. Hall. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm now at 10 points, and now we need a new point card, and it's going to be four points, and put a card into... Lame. Wow. Take one from your yeah. opponent and put it in your own guild hall. A stealer, that's cool. Here you go. Yeah. That was a good round for me. Yeah, well you know what I'm going to do? What? What you gonna do? What you got? Bring it. Just thinking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna spend a chapter and I'm gonna take that four pointer. Yep. So that I can steal one card from your house and put it in my house. Guild hall. Yep. One, two, three, four. So there's the four points. And it's going to be... The red farmer. Merv here, yeah. Merv. Merv the pig farmer. Then I'm going to take a this one. you going to buy another one? Yep. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to take this three-pointer. Three-pointer. One, two, three points. Okay. So I can put any number of cards from my hand into my guild hall. Yep. Oh, goodness. It's going to be interesting. Oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, that worked out quite well. That was, that was interesting. So then I get this some money. Yep. And we can discard these. So and we that's are both, my turn. We're both at 10 points. Are we really? Yeah, because you just got seven. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Here, I'm just going to organize these so, so that I can have easy counting. And then those get replaced. There we go. Yeah. All right, Michael. Yeah. Okie dokie. I'm going to discard a card. I'm going to drop to six. It's going to be six. Three, four, five, six. And then what do I got? Let's see. Interesting. So for my next round. Dude, that's cool. Ah! Careful dropping now. cards! Cards on the floor. Yeah. So for my second action, I'm going to play a blue dancer, which I don't have any dancers. So all I do is get another turn. So I'm going to play a green dancer. Don't have any dancers, so I just get another turn, and I'll play a yellow assassin. And which then I I'm have just going to kill the uh, four assassins. Two people are about to go. And who are they? Um, let's take out your yellow and blue historian. Just Ouch. Jen, that hurts me. Ouch. Ouch! And Why that would completes you do something so mean? My assassin chapter. Can't even do that anymore. Okay. Okay, here you go. So that makes me have to. Why can't you put my blue one on the top? I didn't even put them there. I don't know. <laughs> no. Anyway. Oh, did, I, did did you do an order? I said blue and yellow. Yeah. Oh, okay, nice. <laughs> I think he said blue and yellow. <laughs> Probably. I don't know. Whatever, because yeah. I had a yellow historian, so if he had been on the top, oh, yeah, yeah. but I have two. I can look through. Yep. Oh. There you go. I was thinking I only had the the base level. Oh, okay. No. But I don't, so I can take one. I'll just take the historian back. Yep. That works. Put him there. That's my first Quick go. Quick recovery of those lost historians. Yeah, and then I'll Thanks have to discard that, and then I can get the six cards. Nice. And then you can go. Okay. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to trade in 
um, a completed chapter. Uh oh. So I can get five points, or I can get four points and get five cards directly into my hand. Right. I think I'm going to take the four pointer. If you could pass me one of those. Please. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's right. And then I'll put that there, and that way I can get five cards into my hand without it costing an action. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Now for my second action, what amazing things do I have in here right now? Well, I have this. It's interesting. I got a purple weaver. Mm -hmm. you I can have put three. two cards. Yeah, I got three weavers, so it allows me to put two cards directly into my guild hall. Then I gotta pull one back into my hand. So that's one, two, and then I gotta take one into my hand. I'll take the green dancer. I knew it. So green trader, red historian. Weaver goes there. So those are the cards that were useless. They're still in my hand. I get my four points. That's there. And, and we play till. 20. 20. Yep. And then we got a 7 with 2 Ooh, actions. Nice and nice. It is your go, yep. Okay, so I'll play the dancer so that I can have one card and an extra action. Mm -hmm. Nice and nice. So my next action will be to get a farmer. Ooh. So I can have a point. Nice. And then my last action, I can do a historian. Ooh. So I can look through wow. the discard and take two of whatever I like. Nice. So pardon me while I look well through this humongous. Oh, that's a good one. I'll leave them sticking out. That's, that's pretty cool. That's a good one. Two of my choice. Two of your choice directly into your guild hall. Nice. Let's just maybe take those. I'm just going to do that. I mean, it kind of might give me less points but it gets me on the way mm -hmm. so it's going to be two farmers interesting and then that was my last go so i can populate my Your guild, yeah. guild hall so my farmers are almost full but my historians are full nice all right yes it's your go. go yep okay so, I'm going to play a green dancer, which gives me one card and extra action. I'm going to play a purple dancer, which gives me another card and another action. Okay. It's just like you play him for free. Yeah. Because you still just get your two actions. Yep. Yeah. And I am going to play for my last go. No. You get to you get to free free so yeah. I'm, yeah okay so I'll play a blue assassin which lets me kill uh, your purple farmer then I will play a purple assassin which allows me to kill your red farmer <laughs> I don't believe these actions you do to me <laughs> it's not very nice and it's your go yeah. I like the assassins, they're good. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> they're evil. I think it's who wields them, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to play a, tr a purple trader. Uh oh. How many traders you got? You I got have three, three, so that means I can do two. Wow. So I'm going to give you. Ooh. I'm going to give you that one. A yellow assassin? Yep. Okay. What happens if. If I give you a traitor. Um, it's going to have to be blue or yellow. But it doesn't affect anything. I can still trade it away. So I don't really want to oh, yeah. give you a dancer. No, the effects already kind of happen, well, so you can. I'm just going to give you this. Oh, wait, maybe I have one in my... No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Yellow okay. traitor, yellow assassin, four... For a green farmer. I could have gotten it for you. Oh, sorry. That's okay. And I thought you had more colors of farmers, but that's okay. No, I kind of killed off the ones that I didn't have in case I got some historians. I'll take a. 
a blue weaver. Blue weaver. You can have these ones. Okay, there you go. Yellow assassin and a yellow traitor. And I still get to go one more time. Okay. Yellow historian. Oh, nice. That was good. Well done. And that's it. All right. So I have. I've got two cards that I'm going to discard, which means I take four. One, two, three, four. So that's going to be my first action. Now, what can I do? I'm going to play a green assassin. I get oh, to kill two no. people. Who's going to? Who are you going to kill? Uh, your blue weaver and your green farmer. That's my go. So I forgot to that I could use this last round. So I'm going to do okay. that now, actually. Or right it could have been a couple rounds. I don't know. But okay. I'll take this one here for the four points. Okay. And then the five cards in my hand. Two, three, four. There you go. And then my second turn, I think I'm still going to stick with... Yeah, I'm still going to stick with this historian move. Nice. And now it's your go. Oh. Okay, cool. Alright, so first of all, I'm going to take three cards. One, two, three. Just double check. Yep, can't use any of those. So those three cards discard, and then I'm going to draw up to six. One, two, three, four. I'm looking for very specific cards that I'm not getting. I'm going to play a red farmer for one victory point. Interesting maneuver. Yep. Here you go. A blue weaver. Mm hmm. I'll place this assassin. Okay. And this weaver. Gotcha. And then I have to take one into my hand. Yep. And I'll take this historian. Gotcha. And then I'm going to play this farmer. Ooh. It's going to give you two for points. For two points. So, what's that? Five? Yep. yep. So I'll start a new row because mm -hmm. each of my rows is five. Yep. So that finishes two chapters. Ouch. Which means you can win next turn. Ooh. Yeah, so get a get a move on there. Okay, I'm gonna try. Now, can I? <laughs> well first I'm gonna do a dancer. So you get three cards. One, two, three. Alright, so for my next action. I'm going to play a blue weaver. I've got three weavers already, so I can take two cards from my hand and put them directly into my guild hall. Right. One's going to be a red assassin. Yeah, yeah. And the other one is going to be a... Oh, wow. I don't have any other cards that can actually go anywhere except for a green farmer, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I'll do that. Now i got to take one back into my hand. It's going to be a purple dancer. Now i got one more action left. No! Which means I can spend this for this for five points. <laughs> I was so close. Two, three, four, five. One more move, and I was going to buy this one. I know. That was a really, really, really close game. Bugger. Yep. Can Came down to like mission? basically like the last possible round. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. And I wasn't even thinking of that. I was thinking, ooh, I want to keep this farmer to get two points. And then when I realized you were going to win next round, I had to. I know. I could have, I should have maybe stacked my money a little bit more secretively. <laughs> and maybe he wouldn't have known. I could have been like, oh, it's all messy. Yeah. Who knows how much money I had. There you go. That's what I should have done. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, but congratulations. Thank you. That was a good game. <laughs> it was a really close game. Yeah. So it's guild hall. Uh, it's just the base guild hall. It's not uh, the guild hall job fair. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Thanks.